Here we have a quadratic number pattern. Uh, the first term being uh, minus 145, uh, the second term being minus 122, and the third term being uh, minus 101. And then the first question says, uh, write down the value of t4, uh, the fourth term, the term coming after minus 101. So the thing we can do, uh, we can find the first difference first, and then we find the second difference, and then we just add on to find uh, the fourth term. So if we subtract uh, minus 145 from minus 122, we get 23. And then if we find the difference between minus 101 and minus 121, uh, we get 21. If we find the difference between 21 and 23, uh, we get minus 2. So this is the information we have. And now from this, we know how we can move forward. So we add uh, minus 2 to 21, we get 19. And then we add 19 uh, to minus 101, we get minus 82. So our fourth term in this uh, quadratic uh, pattern is minus 82. So 3.2 uh, goes on to say, show that the general term of this number pattern is given as Tn equals to minus n squared plus 26n minus 170. So the general formula for the general term of a number pattern is given as Tn equals to An squared plus Bn plus C. So what this question is basically asking us to do is to determine A, B, and C. So to determine A, we have a formula that says 2A is equals to the second common difference which is minus two, right? So from here, we can get A equals to minus one. And then for B, we have a formula that says 3A plus B equals to uh, the first term of the, of the first difference, which is 23. So we know that A is uh, minus one, so we're gonna have three multiplied by minus one plus B equals to 23. If you take minus 3 to the right hand side, you get b equals to 26. And then for c, we have a plus b plus c, which is always equal to the first term. In this instance, it's equal to minus 145, right? a, we say it is minus 1, b, we say it is 26, so we just solve in for c. So we're gonna have c equals to minus 145 plus 1 minus uh, 26, uh, which is going to give us um, minus 170. So we have proved that Tn is equal to minus 2n plus 26n minus 170. And then we can move to the second, to the third question. The third question says, uh, between which two terms of the quadratic number pattern will there be a difference of minus 121. Let me show you something. Here the difference is 23, right? Uh, between uh, this term and this term. So the first term of uh, the sequence being made by the first differences is between uh, the second and the first term of the quadratic. Then the second term is between the third and the second. And then the third is between the fourth and the third. So T50 of uh, the sequence being made by the first difference will be the term between T51 and T50. So what this question is asking us to do is to find uh, which position minus 121 is located in the sequence being made by the first difference. So the first difference, we say that it's 23, the second difference is 21, and then the third difference is, um, is 19. So now we have a, a sequence being made by the uh, first differences. We can then uh, use it to find where minus 121 is located. So we're gonna have Tn equals to a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. 
because this is an arithmetic <coughs> this is an arithmetic uh, pattern right we have a common difference so tn is minus 121 a is the first term which is 23 plus n minus 1 multiplied by d what is d we know that d is minus 2 right so we're going to have minus 121 which is equal to 23 minus 2n plus 2 so minus 2n equals to minus 121 minus 23 minus 2 and then n is equal to minus 121 minus 23 minus 2 divided by 2n if i put that in my calculator i'm gonna get um i'm gonna get 73 so minus 121 is a t73 right so that means it's between uh, the 73rd term and uh, the 74th uh, term on our quadratic sequence it's a it's a, it's a bit tricky so maybe I take the video back and watch it again and then 3.4 3.4 says what value must be added to each term in the number pattern so that the value of the maximum term in the new pattern will be one what's the maximum term so you can see that uh, our general formula is tn equals to a n squared plus b n plus c this is parabolic so to say so the maximum term n at the maximum term will be given by minus b divided by 2a just as we have in a parabola so what is minus b minus b is minus 26 2 multiplied by a which is minus 1 so this is going to give us a t13 right but what is the value of a t13 we need to know the value of t13 so that we know what we need to add to it so that we can get one because we want the maximum term to have a value of one so t13 equals to minus n squared plus 26n minus 170 so we're gonna have minus into 13 squared plus 26 multiplied by 13 uh, minus 170 let me put that in my calculator real quick I'm getting minus one. So which number do we have? Do we have to add uh, to minus one uh, to get one? Uh, this is clear to see that the number we need to add is two. So if we add two to each term, then the value of the maximum term in the new sequence will be one.